everybody. Hi, all my sockets. I miss you. Anyway, I'm going to do a science lesson for you guys today, or at least trying to. <laughs> and what I want you to do is if you have old ketchup, don't throw it out. Just use it to clean up. Make sure your parents are okay with it. So, But it really is neat. We used an old penny and cleaned that up. And then yesterday we tried it on some silver, but that didn't work too well. You supposedly be able to use uh, it clean brass and copper, silver, rust spots, lime scale on plumbing. And we did try that, but I'm not taking you on the bathtub and on a car bumper. So anyway, you can use ketchup and I have some old toothbrushes around and then I squirt some ketchup. Hopefully not on me, but on the toothbrush. Oops. And I'm going to show you. I also have a paper towel laying right here. But this is what I come up with, it, you know. So, and then I have some brass. And brass kind of looks like gold. See this right here? This is brass. And it kind of turned brown almost a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see it. And I'm going to take the ketchup. See that? And I'm going to just rub it in really, really kind of thick. I may even put the ketchup right onto my little plate. I'll show you in a minute. Right here like that. And then I take my toothbrush and I spread it out all over. And then you want to leave it sitting there for a while because you want the acidity from the tomatoes in the ketchup make that work to clean that brass up with okay and when my husband was in the army he used to use brass so and I you know that stuff is pretty strong and I don't like the smell of it I think the ketchup actually does a better job than the brass oil. now we also tried some some silver candle sticks but that nah, didn't work very well I need to come up with something better maybe it's how we put it on a, you know, you can use an old t-shirt or whatever. Like I said, make sure it's okay with your parents. Also found this little pot. See how spotted it is and how dark it is? So I'm going to rub it in here really well, okay? And silver sometimes comes clean by just rubbing it, okay? I don't know if you guys can see this. Yeah, I get, see how I'm putting the ketchup all over the place, basically? All righty. And like I said, the trick is to, you know, you're going to have to let it react. The acidity from the uh, tomato ketchup has to react with the top of the metal and whatnot. So, and then I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to take that paper towel like I told you I had right over here. Oops, and... Try not to get ketchup all over the place. That's the hardest thing always. <laughs> Miss K is messy. Anyway, see how I got this? And it set in a little bit. And I'm just going to rub some of it off. And I don't know if you guys can see this. Okay. This might need a second uh, thing and may need to be set uh, in on ketchup a little longer. But see how much cleaner that is already? See how much shinier that is already? So this is a trick that we learned this week. Well, thank you. Maybe you can help your mom and dad clean the house. Ha <laughs> ha. Or if nothing else, just try it out. It's fun if you have an old penny or something like that, okay? Bye.